What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you a software and hardware overview of the Dell Streak. As this guy gets ready for its stateside release, I want to help you decide whether or not it's going to be the smartphone and tablet for you. So the Dell Streak has proven to be a very polarizing device just by reading through the comments on Techno Buffalo on the YouTube channel. People either love it and are drooling over the screen size or thinking there's no way they're going to be able to carry a 5-inch tablet with them. Uh, in a previous video, I showed uh, how it's going to work in shorts and pants, and whether or not it's going to be pocketable, and how it'll look up to your face. Uh, regardless about how you feel about it, there's no doubt the streak is drawing a lot of interest. That's sort of the first phone-tablet hybrid, and this is sitting at a 5-inch screen. It sort of gives you some sense of perspective, because it's hard to tell on camera. I'll bring in an iPhone 4 here, and you can see the size difference. So we'll go ahead and pull this back, and as mentioned, this is indeed a 5-inch screen uh, with a resolution of 480 by 800. It's running a Qualcomm 1 gigahertz Snapdragon chip with 512 megabytes of RAM and 512 of ROM and microSD expansion, all the stuff you'd expect from a high-end smartphone. So let's talk a little bit about the hardware as well. Uh, you're going to get a front-facing VGA camera for video chat or take pictures or video. You can use Fring or another third party of your choice. Uh, you've got three Android buttons here. You notice that they actually are aligned for landscape orientation. This does have an accelerometer, but when you're using the operating system itself, uh, the accelerometer is not supported, so you're always going to be in portrait, hence the buttons are aligned almost facing downwards. So you've got a home button, a menu button, and a back button. On the top of the device, which could also be the right-hand side, depending on how you're looking at it, is where all your buttons are going to be. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, volume rocker, power and lock, and a camera switch. The bottom is where you've got Dell's proprietary connector, which is the only way to connect it to power or to sync to your computer. On the back, you have a 5 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, removable battery, which is a little bit over 1500 milliamp hours, and a speaker grill sort of hidden right behind that removable back. Uh, overall, it's a very nice phone. It feels, the build quality feels very nice. Uh, and it is relatively thin despite its size. Let's take a look at the home screen and sort of what Dell has done. This is running Android 1.6. Uh, Dell has said it will be upgradable to more recent versions of Android, presumably 2.2. Uh, but for right now, we are using a skinned Android 1.6. So because this has such a <laughs> high amount of screen real estate, uh, Dell did a very nice job customizing the top menu bar. On traditional Android devices, you pull down the tray and you can see all your notifications. Uh, while that is present here on the streak, it's sort of taking it um, to the next level. So you've got sort of a wide variety of sort of trays, I suppose, that you can pull down here. So to the left is where you're going to get your menu. So you can actually limit that and then pull up your most recent or most viewed. And if you want to get more, go ahead and, of course, hit more or less. Uh, moving on over is where you can get access to Dell's, I guess what they call rooms. And each screen here, it supports up to six, is technically called a room. So you can go ahead and tap that. And you can close or add rooms. So we've got five open right here. You can go ahead and open another one. And each one will support its own background as well. As you can see, it's sort of scrolling. Uh, and also you can see, as I move around, the dots up top right here signify what room I'm in. So now I'm at the very end. If I scroll over, it'll jump back. Sort of your home room, uh, or whatever your bedroom, if you want to call it. Uh, it's technically the second one from the left, and if you hit the home button, it'll jump you all the way back there. So moving on over, you have notifications for all of your phone functions, so alarm, battery, uh, and the rest of them. And uh, this next one here, that actually I skipped over, is where all of your traditional notifications would be. This would be what you're familiar with in an Android device, um, where your emails would show up, wherever it is that you had set it. This is where the notifications would be uh, right here on the top. So the customization doesn't really stop there. Dell has sort of encapsulated all the icons, as you can sort of see. Uh, browsers in its own box, maps, market, uh, and the rest. And of course, being an Android device, you do have full access to the Android marketplace. And the applications do scale for the screen size. So you get and scroll through, and it's very smooth. Now, on a device this big, you're probably wondering, as I was, how is reading text going to look? And I'll cover all this sort of again in a final review. But I just want to give you a bit of demonstration. So here we are on Techno Buffalo, and you can see that things are very bright. Uh, scrolling is very smooth. Uh, I've had some gripes with the scrolling on Android devices in the past. Uh, this one is buttery smooth and works really well. See the physics engine, uh, depending on how fast I move my finger, uh, this responds very nicely. Uh, pinch to zoom is supported, although that's not as smooth, but you can still see that it does work. And there's a lot that you can view sort of on one screen. And this is a screen where you can use the accelerometer, rotate it, and if you want to view a page uh, like this. 
Uh, viewing TechServe in this aspect uh, makes the street going to be a fantastic ebook reader. Now with Kindle apps and Nook apps, you have access to just a ton of books on Android devices. And this may be a perfect screen size to start reading books. A 4.3 may be a bit small, 3.7 may be a bit small, uh, 5 inch is really a nice sort of compromise. Let's go ahead and jump back and take a look at some of the other Dell customizations, because of course there are a few more. I'll show you what some of them look like here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the Dell widgets. Of course, we'll hold down the screen. And I should mention and reiterate in case you're wondering, this is a capacitive touchscreen, sort of most all modern smartphones are. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into widgets, and there are some sort of Dell customized widgets. There's a Facebook widget. Uh, you've got some a Dell RSS feed, calendar widgets, and sort of some nice additions. Twitter they've included here right out of the box. Uh, nothing revolutionary that Dell's done here. They've left Android mostly untouched. Uh, their big customizations, however, are these bars across the top, which really are nice, especially having a screen this big. Uh, it lends itself to a lot of utility. On a smaller, more traditional phone, uh, you couldn't have these separate sections on your device. So let me go ahead and remind you guys one more time how big or, uh, or how small this might be as you sort of make up your mind whether it's right for you. So here we've got the, uh, the Droid X, a 4.3 inch phone, uh, and you can see that there is just a bit of, uh, of size difference there as well. Go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. So if you're considering getting a Droid X or another 4.3 inch phone, uh, for example, the Evo 4G, you'll notice that that 0.7 inches um, is present, but it's not that large. Certainly from a 3.5 inch phone like the iPhone to the 5 inch is much bigger. Uh, but the transition from uh, 4.3 to 5 uh, is nothing really earth shattering. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this sort of overview hardware and software of the Dell Streak as you decide whether or not this is going to be right for you. And uh, just sort of a quick recap, this unit is going to be available unlocked from Dell sometime this year. Uh, it does support AT&T's 3G band, really no word whether or not it'll support uh, T-Mobile's 3G bands or perhaps a CDMA model may be released for Verizon or Sprint. Really no word on that quite yet, but I suspect we'll hear something uh, in the next few weeks as we sort of gear up and get close to a full uh, release of the Dell Streak. So I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check out the website for all your tech news and give me a follow on Twitter for some exclusive content at twitter.com slash john4lakers. Links to all this stuff will be down below in doobly-doo. Uh, quote to the Vlog Brothers. I am John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.